one little nug. So today I'm gonna take you through my day um, and I'm going to cover two very requested topics from you guys. Um, the first one is I talked about how I grew my glutes without really um, growing my quads. So I'm gonna take you to the gym and kind of show you the exercises that I do in order to kind of and I did talk about this and I'm going to talk about it again before we actually work out um, about like genetics and all that stuff but I do activate my glutes a lot um, so we'll talk a little bit about that and then the second topic is lip fillers I got asked um, this question a lot so I did do lip fillers for the first time a few months ago I absolutely loved it so excited um, and I know that a lot of you girlies were very interested in like seeing how it's done and or maybe like we're a little scared or like iffy about it so today's my appointment I wanted to kind of get it refilled a little bit maybe like even it out a little bit um here in miami i thought it'd be really cool to kind of just like record a raw video of of me getting it done so you see like you know the procedure if you're just interested in seeing how it's done if you're thinking about it or if you're just curious honestly so you could just see me like being a little baby about it <laughs> i'm also going to get an iv um it's like a, a shot full of like vitamins and everything to put it in my system because um la fit expo is coming up and then i have another few trips right now my immune system is like not the best i don't know why i've been very healthy very on point with my diet i've been working out but for some reason i keep getting like this cough and i just still feel kind of sick it's been like three weeks now, so I'm just gonna get a little IV shot of vitamins. Um, so we might do that first and then do the fillers. I don't know, but it's gonna be a good time. I'll, the people are super nice here. I go to a place called Gentera. I'll show you guys a little sign. If you do see that you come um, on my behalf, you do get like 15% off, which is dope. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to do this. I, I fell in love the first time that I did it, and I don't think I'll ever go back. <laughs> so let's do it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This is the building. I am in my gym clothes, of course. We're gonna go work out after this. It's gonna be a good time. Where's my sunshine today? This is, this is not a thing. So this is the menu for the IVs, full of vitamins. There's a healer. I think last time I did the bounce back. Then we're just gonna do that. I think it takes about 30 minutes to uh, get into the system. Let's do it. I'm excited. Time to get healthy again. <laughs> Alright guys, I got my little IV. Um, my lips are now numb. They put a little cream. <laughs> I feel so weird. <laughs> is it white? How oh, is it at the moment? So beautiful. <laughs> it feels super weird. I feel like I'm getting more and more numb. Yeah, yeah the lips numb pretty quick. <laughs> Make sure that you see them unboxing the syringe wherever you go. Some people tend to put some weird no stuff. Way. Yeah. A lot of fake products. There's are fake products out there. No way. Mm -hmm. There's like Juvederm 1, 2, and 3 what? that are not from the States. That's so why it doesn't, it doesn't stay, it doesn't work, or it can cause negative side effects that we don't know. So. Not in this house. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> On the lips. See, she has a contagious smile. I can't <laughs> stop with the smile. <laughs> <laughs> don't smile for the picture. <laughs> You're gonna love them. Yeah, I love it. Don't you like smile. that little shape? Pointy. Yeah. Okay, and That's you like? Perfect. Do you like the cleavage part on the lower lip? You want me to leave it like that, or do you want me to fill volume? There? I should leave it like that. Yeah, I like. I think on her it looks really pretty. Mm, it's yeah. natural. Some people yeah. don't have that, but you have it, so I, I kind of left it on you. I did not fill the in the middle. The little crease. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh. Stop smiling! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and with lips, I honestly like to do them in sessions because it's mm -hmm. a very vascular area, yeah. so you can swallow off and it could look good that day. And when it settles, it's a little asymmetry, you want to correct, you know? Yeah. Love. I love it. Oh, there's a little bit of a little bit what is up guys? So my camera totally died yesterday <laughs> when I got to the gym. It was not a good time. Um, so this is the next day. Um, lip, lip little shake up. Love them. Super excited. Let me give you a little smile. I'm very happy that like I don't bruise or anything like that. I, I did wake up a little swollen, but it's a good time. So today I'm going to show you the exercise that I do in order to build my glutes without really 
uh, building my quads. Some people are, of course, more prone, like genetically more prone to getting muscles in different areas. And before I started lifting, I actually had like very, very skinny, tiny legs. So I don't think my quads are ever gonna be like really big, you know, that's just the way like my body is. Um, but you can definitely help by activating more glutes uh, muscles rather than quads. So first of all, things that really, really focus on your quads, I tend to avoid those altogether. I know it's not like the, the traditional way of really lifting. I do kind of like pick and choose the muscle groups that I want to work more. Um, and that's the way that I have my routine set up, which I really like. I mean, I'm happy with my body composition. I'm happy with the results that I'm getting. I mean, you should be working out your full body, you know, but don't be afraid to kind of like customize your own routine and work on the muscle groups that you want to work on more. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. As long as you don't lift like very heavy and that you're allowing your body to rest, um, you can for sure just kind of choose and customize your own routine. And then the first year that I started lifting, I did gain a lot of mass in my legs. Um, and then from that point on, I was like, okay, I want to focus more on like building glutes rather than quads. But I got a resistance band. This is the one that I'm using right now. It's the Fit Girl band I do. Um, I got this one on Amazon. It was like, I think 20 something dollars. And I've had it for two years now. I use it basically every single time that I lift. I mean, I do put a lot of stress on it and it still has never, like it's very sturdy. So I like this one a lot. Um, and I just kind of like learned different exercises, different movements that really, really activated my glutes rather than my quads. What really worked for me is um, changing from power days to endurance training um, where I do a lot of reps, not a lot of weight, um, implementing my band, doing a lot of supersets where I really, really work on my glutes and I do like a lot of burnouts and things like that. So I really, really like the way that I'm training now. It's a good time. So I'm just gonna take you through my workouts and I hope you guys enjoy. Hello, hi. Okay, so we're waiting for a squat rack. I'm just gonna like focus on a lot of reps um, until I really, really feel the burn. You know, so I don't really have like a set amount of um, reps or anything like that. I just kind of like keep going until I really, really feel it and my gluteus a maximus. So this is one of my favorite ones in terms of really, really working the booty. So I do um, put 30s for my feet and then I actually elevate. And I'm going to use a dumbbell. You can use whatever weight you want and really, really go deep down. I'll show you guys how I do it, but I love this one. you press on your heel for this one. A lot of people on this exercise, I'll, whenever I post it on my story, they ask me why I like actually put the weights to elevate it. Um, it actually allows me to go a lot lower, you know? It's a, it's a like much deeper squat, so um, that's why. But you can also do it without the elevation if that kind of like scares you a little bit because you do need some balance, um, which is still fine, so. Can you see this? It's like a big ass scratch, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some warm up sets. Uh, I'll show you guys there's two movements that I do in between each set um, and I'll just kind of show you. This is a risky, <laughs> risky little game honestly. We're gonna try this. Yes girl, we found it. This one's a little weird to record, but basically what I'm doing is I'm setting this pretty low. I'm spreading my feet, and then we're just gonna roll up the edges. So I am gonna squatting, let me get in the mirror. <laughs> and then I'm going to roll out, roll back in, roll out, roll back in. It's a good time, David showed me this exercise. David, shout out to you for the booty gains. Yes, I'm actually just gonna keep going and wait and do this every single time, so as soon as I'm done with my set, <coughs> almost died, um, I do my little like, like thing with my bend, and then I do the other exercise, and then I jump right into my squat, so. Carry on. 
like any other exercise, I'm going to keep going. I'm one leg, other leg, and then I'm going to actually hold that squeeze in the glutes um, for as long as I can possibly hold it until it really, really burns, and then just repeat the process. And I do that three to four times. Four times gets a little bit intense, but you can definitely do it like three times. But I really, really like this one, so let's do it. All right, so now we are at the Smith machine. It's very really good. Um, so just like any other exercise, we're going to do a lower weight, um, and I'm going to kind of do exhaustion. That's basically the theme of today, yep. Um, so I'm just gonna leave my camera, I'll show you guys some movements that I do, um, and then in between each set, I actually use my band, um, use as much resistance as possible, low weights. Um, and go as far as it possibly can until like everything just burns. You know what I'm saying? You know the good burn? And you know you're making gains? <laughs> yeah, everybody's staring at me. Yep. Why am I zoomed in? Okay, <laughs> setting. As you guys can tell, it's a lot of concentration. Um, I take my time. Very, very slow, concentrated actions. I do press on my heels. Um, so I'll do like one leg, the other leg, and then I actually do um, those paw squats that I just showed you when I actually like linger at the bottom and then like, really, really squeeze. That feels insane. Like you'll, you're definitely gonna feel it in your quads, in your booty, but it's not too heavy. So it just goes on exhaustion again. Good time. Okay, four sets. These RIP legs and, and glutes. <laughs> okay, All right, next exercise, we're going to stack on another plate. We can handle a little bit more weight. Um, it's going to be deadlifts, but with the band for the extreme low burn. Actually, I use a band for this. I like really, really like every time I don't use my band, it just feels different. The next day, I'm like a lot more sore when I use the band, so I know it's like working and activating a lot more muscle groups, you know? Let's do it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, um, it's kind of, you guys have seen this on my story probably, put the band on, oh my god, what's going on? It's like burn out, and then I go into um, the lifting this, it's like kind of like a leg press but on the smith, and then I implement my little band. Doing that back to back actually gets me like super super sore, so it's a good time. I'm gonna the camera, do one set, but I do like three of them. Yes. This is, this is a little scary, honestly. Um, I do do abs like every single time that I come to the gym. You guys know this, um, but it does keep you like from having a flat stomach, which like gives the illusion of a more like shape. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna do a lot of abs and then I'll take you guys to the room um, to do some leg like, exercises. All right, I'm now in my little corner, so I'm gonna do bended work um, that really work the glutes, so it activates the glutes, the quads, but it, it does like burn a lot, and I love these. I actually feel really sore the next day. Those are the exercises that I do in between my compound lifts. I'm just doing them like on the side now, but yeah, let's do it. Carry on. 
My entire life story is trying to remember where I parked. Always, man. All right, was an amazing workout. Oh, my bangs are literally dripping wet. <laughs> um, all right, so this was one of my um, hypertrophy days. I did show you guys my power days before. Um, so like I said, I in order to grow my glutes without like preventing from growing too much quads, um, so genetics obviously are a huge thing. A lot of concentration going on basically is what I was mainly trying to show you guys. A lot of movements. Um, I love, love, love my band. Ever since I've been using my band, like I really, really feel Feel like my glutes are activated every time I like lift you know so I would definitely advise you guys to get a nice a good band mine is the fit girl from Amazon very very thick a lot of resistance um, and just try to learn a lot of movements that really really trigger the glutes of course we haven't talked about cardio yet but cardio is a huge thing as well um, if you are obviously eating a lot of calories you're going to put on more mass than if you're you know shredding down or whatever Did you know that whenever I'm lifting really heavy lots of weights and I'm also not dieting or anything like that. I do, you know, my legs do get a little thicker. Um, so if you are trying to like tone down a little bit and not put as much weight on your quads, um, I would definitely, you know, uh, do some cardio or diet a little bit, you know, be in calorie deficit a little bit and do very, very concentrated motions um, and do lots of like burnouts. Very like, all these circuits are freaking amazing. I do change exercises quite often as well. So um, if, you know, I find something else that I really like, I will, show you guys as well but um yeah and that is that <laughs> oh this is freaking amazing okay girl and i also feel a lot of like energy i was feeling a little bit sick as you guys know and the iv like really really kicked my uh my immune system into high gear i feel great today i feel amazing so that concludes this vlog we got some lip fillers um and we got some booty exercises Yes, girl. I'm so freaking excited to see you guys this weekend. I'm actually gonna go home right now and pack. Uh, tomorrow is LA. I actually leave at like 5 a.m. I think. So basically tonight. <laughs> um, I'm so I'm so 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 excited. Like honestly, I've been waiting for this forever. I love expos. I love meeting you guys. It's like the best part of this job. Honestly, I love it. It's a good time. All right, bye guys. Love you.